here's the glove and it'll look like it got ejected a good i don't know what is that about 20 yards for hammer time forum i took the suggestion of taking a piece of leather and putting it between the clay and the entry point I do have that drill where it'll make a perfect circle, but forgot to drill that out. So I don't think a thin piece of plastic should cause that much damage. Today's hammer bullet trap, we have the 135 grain power hammer, which I will be hitting that target at over 3,000 feet per second and over 3,000 foot pounds of energy. I wanted to shoot it at 100 yard yards, but I'll show you in my thermal. I'm basically in a slope and I could barely see that target. So I really don't expect to have much clay left over, but I do hope to catch the bullet. I think I see the bullet hole. Oh yeah. We definitely have got the bullet. I actually brought the right sand filter all the way out here. First thing I really want to look at is the clay here. Look at that wave. So this is the entrance here. Look at that shock wave. That is just cool, man. <laughs> it's wicked. Look at that shockwave. There's a pedal right there. See that? That's a perfect pedal. I'll fiddle that when I get home. This is the imprint in the ground. Oh, dang. Look, there's a pedal. <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, probably can't see it from your angle. That's a really good divot though. That's cool, I found a pedal right there. This part was on the ground facing downward, but because of the weight of the clay, it won't let me lay it this way without rolling over. So this is the ground level here. This is where the glove was centered and you can see that the bullet went straight in there. Let me get that closer so you can see. And it looked like it quickly expanded on this side. What's really cool is check that out. There is a pedal that looks to be about three and a half inches on that side. And I believe there is a pedal, small one, let me find it, right there. Let me pull these out with my needle nose pliers just to confirm those actually are pedals. But if I measured right, those are roughly about three and a half inches in width from each other in that section. So let me pull these out real quick and we'll examine that. Oh yeah, that's definitely a pedal. Tiny piece there. And this is the much bigger one over here. That's awesome. And the other one that I recovered from the ground is right here. And this is the bullet shank. So what I'm going to do now is slowly peel this apart and see how much of this I recovered. Now, 10 pounds of clay or um, forming clay, molding clay should fit in here. But there was a lot that blew out this direction that I didn't even try to collect. So let me see how much of this um, I'm able to fill into here. And that'll let me know if I need to buy a little bit more. But I think I recovered at least eight pounds of this stuff. But I will slowly peel this apart and then also look for some petals. Just found another pedal. It made it three quarters all the way through the clay, almost exiting the plastic container. And it is right there. That's awesome. And I definitely found another one right there. And this was pressed against the very bottom of the plastic right there. So that one made it all the way, almost all the way through. 
And here is another one. This one also made it three quarters of the way through. This is my last big chunk of molding clay. This part was basically sitting against that label so I couldn't see it. But check this out, found another big PDR band and it looked to be roughly at that same three and a half to four inch distance from the lid to where the other two were at that three and a half to four inch range. Final review, knowing that I hit low, I probably hit somewhere right around here. I'm guessing that because of where um, it expanded in the back of this container. The big pedals expanded at roughly three and a half to four and a half inches with inside of the molding clay. And I did find two more pedals, almost three quarters to the very back end of the exiting container. And the bullet would have exited right here. That's why this whole area is blown out there. And I was only able to recover, it looks like about seven and a half pounds to seven pounds of molding clay. So getting hit with 3,200 foot pounds of energy at roughly 3,200 feet per second, I lost about three pounds of molding clay. Here are the shanks and pedals before and after running them through my sonic cleaner. The shank weighed in at 48.9 grains. The pedal weighed in at 31.4 grains, giving a recovered weight of 80.3 grains. The largest three pedals found their resting place three and a half to four inches within the molding clay. The two smaller pedals were found 75 to 99 percent of the way through the body of the molding clay. What's apparent to me after watching this impact in slow motion, the bullet had fully expanded within the first inch or inch and a half of the molding clay, fully detonating or bubbling at the three and a half to four inch range, blowing the heaviest part of the molding clay a good two feet in the air. If you have any other suggestions for my hammer bullet trap, please comment below. Stay tuned for the next test where I'll be running my fastest bullet at over 4,900 feet per second.